Yeah, I know. I'm the guy who said friends don't let friends carry mouse guns, and here I am recommending the best 380 pocket pistols. With improvements in defensive ammunition, the 380 pistol has surged in popularity. Here are the top picks in the small and concealable market. This thing's tiny, about the size of the average smartphone. The SIG P238 is a serious runt even in the world of micro pistols. SIG put some serious engineering into this little pistol, and though it's compact, it performs like a much bigger gun. Basically, it's a mini 1911, offering all the good stuff you'd expect from Browning's famous design. One of the best features is its single action trigger, which is super smooth and helps the three inch barrel stay accurate. As far as concealability, the P238 SAS is tough to beat. It's only 3.9 inches tall and weighs just 16 ounces unloaded, so it's truly a pocket pistol and great for everyday carry. The gun's very accurate at distances up to 10 yards, staying on target easily. Even better, it's comfortable to shoot, which isn't something you can usually say about small 380 pistols. A lot of this comes down to the rubberized ergonomic grips, which make it easier to handle despite its small size. That said, there are a couple of downsides. The thumb safety is one, the cost is the other. The 6 plus 1 capacity P238 runs on the spendier side of the spectrum, but most people who buy the P238 feel it's worth the investment. Finally, let's be honest, this gun isn't winning any beauty contests. SIG tries to make it look better with different colors and designs, but the blocky shape is hard to hide. Still, when it comes to self-defense, looks don't really matter. Ruger's LCP line has long been a staple in the 380 community. The series started with the small and compact LCP, grew to the LCP-2, and now houses the LCP Max. The third boasts nearly everything fans of the design have begged for. The gun has nearly a best-in-class capacity, carrying 10 plus 1 rounds, and even 12 plus 1 with a slightly longer mag. Ruger turned to a double-stack magazine to accomplish this, slightly widening the grip of the hammer-fired gun. Ergonomics are smoothed out a little, but otherwise the dimensions are almost the same as the LCP-2, with only adding 0.4 inches to the height and 0.06 inches to the width. As a side benefit, I found the Max more comfortable in hand than the previous LCPs. Sights are great for a tiny affordable gun. The front is tritium with a nice green outline and the rear is flat black and not too recessed. I won't say I found the Max a tack driver, but I was more than capable of connecting consistently at center mass from 10 yards. Essentially that makes the cut for a 380 defensive pistol. Like other guns in this category, it's a bit snappy. That said, once I got used to its quirks, I really grew to love this gun for its main job, being the perfect mix of weight, size, and capacity for a concealed carry pistol. Among the most highly anticipated guns in the past decade, the G42 didn't disappoint. Concealable, familiar, and above all reliable, the 380 pistol ticked all the boxes of a deep cover concealed carry piece. In short, it's a Glock. Admittedly, the G42 has been overshadowed in recent years by Glock's petite 9mm offerings, but it still has a place in on-person defense, particularly due to its shootability. Its larger size relative to other 380s is partly to thank for this, with a gun measuring 4.13 inches in height and 0.98 inches in width. Like most Glocks, the striker fired has a decently crisp trigger out of the box and a short reset. In turn, those familiar with the gun can run it fast and accurately so. However, if it or any other part of the G42 isn't up to your standards, the Glock aftermarket is huge and the pistol is upgradable. If you struggle with hand strength or have an injury affecting your grip, the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ and 380 ACP is a great option. The idea behind the pistol is to give those who have trouble with heavy slide rack weight an option in what otherwise might prove a prohibitive class of guns. There's a 9mm version if you prefer, but I think the 380 ACP really shines here. It's 6.7 inches long with a 3.68 inch barrel and weighs just 18.3 ounces, so it's light and easy to handle. Plus, it holds 8 plus 1 rounds. What makes this gun stand out is how easy it is to shoot. From racking the slide to pulling the trigger, everything feels smooth and beginner friendly. The sights are high, made of metal, and very familiar to anyone used to the three dot system. And in my opinion, Smith & Wesson got grip texturing right on the M&P line. 
It's also great if you have smaller hands thanks to its thin grip. Smith & Wesson offers two versions, one with a thumb safety and one without, but both have a grip safety so you have options depending on your preference. I love that they made this gun with different users in mind, making it super inclusive. Best known for its massive Desert Eagle semi-autos and BFR single-action revolvers, Magnum Research took a bold departure from their traditional product lines with the introduction of the Micro Desert Eagle. The Micro is built on a stainless steel frame platform and features Magnum Research's proprietary nickel Teflon finish, which is attractive, slick, and corrosion resistant. Of course, this is an important attribute for a concealed carry firearm considering the amount of sweat the gun will be exposed to during its service life. Weighing in at less than 14 ounces, the Micro Desert Eagle is comfortable in a pocket or in a purse, easy to deploy, and features the Magnum Research gas-assisted blowback system for the ultimate reliability and amazing accuracy in such a small package. The double-action-only trigger is heavy at 8 pounds but smooth with negligible over-travel, Resets long like most double action only guns. Again, don't count on the sights to give you match grade accuracy. This is an up close and personal gun. Although the price point seems high, you're getting a steel framed handgun and you get what you pay for. If you took a bunch of experts and told them to design a subcompact 380 ACP 1911 with all the best features they could think of, I'm not sure if the end result would be any different than the Springfield Armory 911. In fact, Springfield believes the 911 is the perfect pistol for everyday carry. Those are some big words for such a small gun. The 911 has been shrunk in every way to fit the 380 ACP cartridge. It sports a 2.7 inch barrel and overall it's 5.5 inches long by 3.9 inches tall. It's also flat, less than an inch thick at the grips. Springfield specs have the gun's weight at 12.6 ounces with an unloaded magazine in place, so it's both small and light enough to conceal in a pocket. This is an all-metal pistol, but it's about as corrosion-resistant as you can get. First, both the slide and barrel are stainless steel. The frame is 7075 aluminum for both weight savings and impervious to rust. The sights are top-of-the-line Ameriglow Pro Glow Night Sights. Despite the fact that the 911 is small, it doesn't hurt to shoot even when using the flush magazine. This is rare for a subcompact pistol. And when you combine the 911's low bore, good trigger, and great sights with the 380's minimal recoil, it's easy to put bullets where you want them to go. The gun ships with one flush six round stainless steel magazine and one longer seven round magazine with a polymer grip extension. Note that you can get the 911 in 9mm if you prefer the extra punch that those defensive rounds seem to offer. And that's a wrap on our top picks for the best 380 ACP pocket pistols. Whether you're after stealth or something that just feels right in your hand, these pocket pistols are ready to have your back when it counts. Now here's where we need your expertise. Have you carried any of these? Got a hidden gem that we missed? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're always looking to keep the conversation going. And hey, if you're all about staying sharp and safe, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. You'll be first in line for more gear breakdowns, expert tips, and maybe even a few surprises.